Hi everyone, welcome again to our new session of the Jira. In this session, I will explain you about, about what is backlog in Jira. And with the practical example, I will show you how to add events inside the backlog in Jira. So let's understand today's agenda. Then we will move to the practical content. So we'll discuss here what is backlog and how it works inside the Jira, how to add items inside the backlog and do the detailed setup. So if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's start with Jira login. So once you click on the uh, login credential or enter the login credential and select submit, you find the project list. So I am working on this project so because of that I have selected here you can find out the backlog section inside your project. So let's understand what is backlog in any project. So it's a decision making artifacts that help us to estimate, refine and prioritize everything we might sometime in the future want to complete. It helps to ensure the team is working on the most important and valuable feature fixing the most important bugs or doing other important work critical to product development. The backlog therefore is a tremendously useful in situation when we are unable to do anything being asked. So most situations or in context when even a small amount of planning will help a lot. So in most contexts, many think of this backlog as to-do list and define it is exactly this way as a list of things we must to deliver our product to market. So why it is required when we think about the backlog as a wish list, we invite flexibility and change. In doing so, we enable true agility and give the organization a power that's necessary to win in the marketplace. So let's understand how we'll create it. So for creating a backlog, we have to uh, here click on create issue. So issue does not mean it's a defect we are creating but we have different story. So if we want to create any user story wise or anything specific on that we'll create it here. So let's take an example of any application which contains video functionality and in that video functionality we have several other options like uh, screen sharing, recording and all. So let's Create a user story to build to build a recording functionality. Okay, now it's created. Now this one is done. If I want to add some more item with the detail like here we can add a uh, descriptions or any other content like uh, this is used for building recording functionality now it's done here we have to provide the details or assign to the someone person fix in the version epic links if we have or something like that summary is already available here we have provided description if you have any attachment we can attach it from here if you want to create one more then create another on and click on create so whatever we have enter building uh, to build functionality is successfully created you can see here but we can add one more if we need. So to build screen share. So in this we will build the screen share in terms of development perspective. So let me copy and paste it here. Now I don't want to create another because of that I'm just clicking on create. So after creating this you can see we have two components are available. Sorry. One with build functionality 
once we'll click on this we can see different content is available as a part of uh, to build recording here we can also do some other actions like deleting moving cloning export to xml export to word these all functionalities available for us if we want to add some more tasks we can simply add it up on selecting this one add flag if you want to add a flag we will flag it so based on the importance and all we can add it it's accordingly if you want to create any other epics which is available or movie to here we just have to select it according to our linkage so if we want to view only my issues we can just click on my issue and will plan it if we want to plan our sprint blank page meeting notes and product requirements will also do that accordingly so this is how it works but if we have something uh, so you can see here create if we can also create inside a sprint but definitely i will cover one more session on creating sprint but if we have 500 all issues uh, we can put the filter here so something like that but if so this is how we can see that it's available so six more fields you can add the work log what time we have estimated and when we want to start it when we want to plan it so these all parameter it's configurable we can also include some more layouts according to our requirement so status reporter development label these all are very much flexible when you're working with jira tool so that's how we can create or add log inside of our backlog content so if you can see here we can also create some more epic and add it in roadmap sections but in product sorry in uh, project dashboard we can see it whatever we have added so this is how we can add the backlog inside jira hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching